A lot has been riding on Halo Infinite for the Xbox brand. It seems every fan and cynic has been waiting to see if it will disappoint or if this guy in green will prove himself worthy as the Xbox mascot. While Master Chief's continued story remains to be told, we've gotten a peek at multiplayer in the form of 4v4 player versus bot matches and a handful of weapon drills where you can try out the guns and see what clicks or what you need some target practice with. The verdict? While keeping in mind that this is a technical specific preview, where we've only had the opportunity to play on a few maps. I'd say Halo Infinite Multiplayer seems to be in tip-top shape and ready to reclaim its place as one of the best multiplayer shooters ever made. I cannot get enough. Booting up the tech preview on my Xbox Series X, the main battlefield on day one starts with the Live Fire map. It's small with three lanes and an underground path through the center for close quarters, shotgun kills, grenade spamming, or bank shot kills with the new heat wave. Bank shot. Weapon choices include the UNSC and Covenant weapons scattered about. Power weapons also spawn on a timer with favorites like the sniper rifle and skewer spawning in their set locations on the field for players to fight over once they've arrived. There are also power ups to get right off the bat like an overshield that steers combat toward each of the aforementioned lanes as players and bots try and get a leg up. I love that these coveted items pop up immediately as it gives you a strategic choice and offers teams the chance to try and carefully plan out what the most valuable piece of gear is and whether it's worth sending the crew after. For now, I find myself running toward the overshield because let's be honest, I'll probably need it the most. Most of the weapons feel great. The new pistol and AR combo is the perfect starting set with the pistol offering powerful mid-range damage with a narrow scope. The AR keeping those bots at bay as you feather the trigger to sustain that damage per second into their robotic brain. This is a great combo. On the other end of the spectrum, the new Commando, aka BMR replacement, initially caught me off guard as woefully underpowered compared to its predecessors. With some dedicated time, I found that holding down the trigger gave you a reasonable time to kill with the weapon. That said, I can do some decent work with my pistol, making the Commando less of a desirable as the go-to gun it seems designed to be. There's also a new Covenant weapon, the Pulse Carbine, which fires burst rounds that track towards the part of the body you're aiming at. It's fun to use, even if it feels a little bit like cheating. The new Heat Wave can ricochet off walls and performs like an okay grenade launcher, but not the standout I had expected from the trailer. Personally, I prefer the Bulldog, which acts more like a traditional shotgun paired with the fire rate of Halo 3's Mauler. And of course, the skewer is easy to use if you can aim, but each shot counts as you'll be left vulnerable during its very long reload animation. But it's a one hit kill, so that's to be expected. Halo Infinite's technical preview gave a glimpse of a very easy to pick up and go experience as you're jumping into it with the default control scheme. The basics are mapped where you'd expect and otherwise easy enough to change. Targeting meanwhile seems to be dialed in just right with the option to tweak later on. And one small note on movement, the slide is very fun to use as it'll get you out of sticky situations a bit faster when you scoot along the ground on your butt like you're at a slip and slide party. The shooting range, another feature made available for the technical preview, is a great place to work on your aim. And between us, I probably need to spend some more time there. The range has three tiers of bots, one that stands still, one that moves from side to side, and one that moves sporadically across the battlefield. No matter your skill level, this is the best spot to get your feet wet. After picking up the weapon you've decided to become a god with, you'll set out to kill as many bots as quickly as you possibly can with point multipliers for things like quick kills in succession or consistent headshots. You're then graded on a three-star Angry Bird-like scale, which I wish was a little more challenging, or maybe I'm just a badass. Yeah, let's go with that. Regardless, the mode is a great way to practice with different weapons so you can sprint on the map to the weapon you become the most skilled with. All of these modes are accompanied by an AI of your choice, each of which has a distinct personality that ranges from sarcastic to serious and are charming in their own way. I had a difficult time choosing my personal favorite, but I imagine there's an AI personality for every player. You can choose between a slice of humor Let's be the best little slayer we can be. or an all-in commander type who I'm sure the more serious out there will appreciate. Slay them all, Spartan. As is common with preview builds, the Halo Infinite technical preview isn't without its hiccups. The worst I experienced was a jittery image when messing around with the shooting range and an audio bug that caused game audio to behave strangely when I was turning off in-game chat. It's set to open mic by default and let me tell you, y'all need to turn your TVs down. 
The best hiccup, however, was a weapon duplication glitch that allowed two players to obtain a power weapon if they pick it up at the same time. And yes, 343 is aware of that last one, so have fun while it lasts. I was looking forward to experiencing Halo Infinite's armor customization, but it was fairly light in this build as far as options went. There's also a battle pass system where you can unlock a few items, but most of what 343 added here includes visor colors and a few options for things like knee and shoulder pads. One thing I really liked seeing was the addition of lore to some of the weapons and armor. The few bits and pieces that were there give you an idea of where 343 is going with this new feature, and I'll be excited to learn more about Halo Infinite as I unlock iconic sets with a tale told alongside them. The final offering was the Halo Infinite website and companion app, which were all but unplayable when I wrote this script. I'll report back once I can see them and once I've played on all available platforms. Although this is our first look at Halo Infinite, it felt good to be back. Movement, pacing, and combat felt like a mix between Halo 4 and 5, but this is also a new Halo multiplayer experience in its own right that has clearly been iterated on by the team over and over again. The result is something you won't want to miss, particularly as Halo Infinite multiplayer will be free when the game comes to PC and all Xbox consoles this holiday season. I'll see you on the battlefield, Spartans. In the meantime, for more on all things Halo, keep it right here at IGN. Hostile potato mash.